lecture 46 richlet integral richlet integration or richlet integral so this integral is useful to evaluate the double and the triple integral by expressing the term of beta and the gamma function so they are falling uh, used to evaluate the multiple integral the first statement is suppose we have a region r in x y plane which is bounded by a region x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 and x plus y is less than equal to some constant that is k so the integration double integral x is to power p minus 1 y raised to power q minus 1 dx dy is written as gamma p gamma q upon gamma p plus q plus 1 into k raised to power p plus q similarly the statement 2 if suppose we be a region where in x x y z plane or we can say 3d plane where x y z all are greater than equal to 0 and x plus y plus z is less than 1 then the triple integration x raised to power p minus 1 y raised to power q minus 1 z raised to power r minus 1 dx dy dz is equal to gamma p gamma q into gamma r divided by p plus q plus r gamma p plus q plus r plus 1 so in that way we can evaluate such type of integration and that is called the Dritchlet integral there is a so important point if suppose that x plus y plus z is less than k then by putting x upon h is equal to capital x y upon h we put y capital y and small z upon h we put capital z so in that way small x plus y plus z is less than equal to h upon h sorry that's in capital x capital this capital x capital y capital z is less than equal to 1 so the Dirichlet theorem is what we get integration and we just multiply that h raised to power p plus q plus r this is an extension of a Dirichlet integral which is we say Liouville's extension of Dirichlet integral if suppose we have in three variables x y z all are positive such that x plus y plus z now lies between the two limits here of say two constant h1 and h2 in that case and we have an integration f x plus y plus z means we have a function x plus y plus z and x raised to power p minus 1 y raised to power q minus 1 z raised to power r minus 1 dx dy dz we write gamma p gamma q gamma r upon gamma p plus q plus r and integration h1 to s2 and f u u raised to power p plus q plus r minus 1 t u here u is what u is a sum of x plus y plus z so this is an extension of touch list term so by the by the help of these integration we simplify the integral let's discuss the some examples here so apply the touch list theorem and we have to evaluate that integration d interval integration x y z dx dy dz taken throughout the ellipsoid the region is what ellipsoid so here we use the Dirichlet theorem so first we convert that into integ integration by the in the terms of Dirichlet theorem so here we put x square upon a square is equal to capital x y square upon b square is equal to capital y and z square upon c square we put capital z now from that we can write x square is equal to a square x and y square is equal to b square capital y z small z square is equal to c square capital z now taking differentiation in that term both sides we can write 2x dx is equal to a square d capital x Similarly, if we take the derivative both side in that term, so we can write 2y dy is equal to p square d capital Y and similarly 2z dz is equal to c square d capital Z or we can say x dx we can write a square dx upon to y dy we can write p square by 2 dy and z dz we can write 
c square by 2 dz why are we taking the z dz y dz because here you see x dx we can replace a square by 2 dx now according to the given integration that integral will be written as x dx y dy z t small t z that integral written in that form so now on the place of this we substitute so the given integral is written as a square by 2 t capital x p square by 2 t capital y into c square by 2 t capital z and that's the region v now a square b square and c square are the constant so we take out the integration and we can write a square b square c square by 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 triple integration dx dy dz now because we want to apply the Dirichlet theorem so if you remember the Dirichlet theorems the integration v x raised to power p minus 1 y raised to power q minus 1 z raised to power r minus 1 dx dy dz we write gamma p gamma q gamma r upon gamma p plus q plus r plus 1 so first we convert it into that form so we can write a square b square upon 8 and on the place here is a constant 1 so we can write capital x raised to power 1 minus 1 capital Y 1 minus 1 capital Z 1 minus 1 T capital X capital Y capital Z now at that point we can directly use the Dirichlet statement and that integral we can write a square b square c square upon 8 and here the value of p is 1 q is 1 and r is 1 if we compare that integration with the Dirichlet integration so we write gamma 1 and gamma 1 gamma 1 upon gamma 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so we get a square b square c square upon 8 and gamma 1 is 1 so and divide by gamma 4 and you know how to expand the gamma 4 so gamma 4 we get 3 2 1 a square b square c 8 into 3 2 1 so we get a square b square c square upon 40 8 so the integration the value of that integral is what a square plus b square plus c square by 48 so here we are using the Dirichlet integral theorem or we can send the statement of Dirichlet theorem next example suppose we have in a plane x upon a y upon b plus z upon c is equal to 1 meet the axis a b c now apply the Dirichlet theorem to find the volume of tetrahedron so here if you uh, plot that figure so he says that's in plane x upon a y upon b that's in suppose x axis that's in y axis and that's a z axis so that's the point b and c so that plane mika so we have to find the volume of that tetrahedron now here first we put x upon a is equal to capital x y upon b is equal to capital y and z upon c is equal to capital z so here we can say x is equal to a capital x y is equal to a small b capital y z is equal to c capital z and we apply the condition capital x plus y plus z is equal to 1 so here we take the differentiation so we write a t capital x dy is equal to p t capital y and t z is equal to c t capital z now as we know we want to evaluate the volume of that tetrahedron 
so what's a volume to so if we want to find the volume so the volume of tetrahedon it's what triple integration we write dx dy dz now on the place of dx we write a capital dx into small b d capital y and c del d capital z and or we can say a b c triple integration dx dy dz now here we can say a b c and you write x raised to power 1 minus 1 capital y raised to power 1 minus 1 capital L red raised to power 1 minus 1 dx dy dz now by the digital theorem if you compare that with the formula so the value of p q r is what 1 so this can be written as a b c gamma 1 gamma 1 gamma 1 upon gamma 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is a b c upon gamma 4 or a b c upon 6 so that is the volume of tetrahedron so in that way we can easily evaluate the volume of the tetrahedron or we can say we can easily evaluate the triple integration by using Drishlet theorem now apply the Livoli theorem to evaluate the integral triple integration log x plus y plus z dx dy dz an integral is evaluating over all positive and zero value of x y z subject to the condition x plus y plus z is less than 1 so here we have to apply the extension of the digital zero so now we have given x plus y plus z is less than 1 and is greater than 0 because all x y z are positive and 0 so the given integration is what log x plus y plus z dx dy dz so here we apply the the extension of the distress theorem so we just take x plus y let x plus y plus z is what u so now by applying the Lively theorem of the or we say the extension of the distress theorem so we just write that integration x raised to power 1 minus 1 y raised to power 1 minus 1 z raised to power 1 minus 1 log x plus y plus z dx dy dz now this is what this is a function of x plus y plus z so by the by the theorem we can write the value of p is 1 comma 1 and the value of q r is 1 on comma 1 plus 1 plus 1 integral the limit is what 0 to 1 we take 0 to 1 and that function we write d log u into u raised to power p plus q plus r minus 1 du now that's become 1 upon comma 3 integration 0 to 1 and we write u square log u du that is du so now we just evaluate that integration so that 1 upon gamma 3 is we write 1 by 2 and on taking the integration by part we write u cube by 3 log u minus integration 0 to 1 derivative of the first that is integration of the first that is u cube by 3 and derivative of that log function you take 1 by u t u and on simplifying we get 1 by 2 and 
here we just cancel the square we get 1 by 3 outside 1 by 3 we apply the limit of 0 to 1 so that becomes 0 so we get only that part that is minus 1 by 3 u cube by 3 0 to 1 and then simplify that we get minus 1 by 80 so just evaluate that integral we obtain the value of this so here we apply the extension of Dirichlet theorem that is the Volvil theorem and we just remember that if we have a function of x plus y plus z then we apply the extension of the Dirichlet theorem